Now from Place Ministries, another inspirational moment. Welcome back to your place. James 4, 14 and 15 says this, Why? You don't even know what will happen tomorrow. What is your life? You are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. Instead, you ought to say, If it is the Lord's will, we will live and do this or that. Can I challenge you to adopt a new habit? Now, it'll take time to implement, and this new habit may even seem a little awkward at first. But as any other habit, over time, it will become a normal part of your attitude and hopefully your vocabulary. Here's what I'm asking. Let's start incorporating what James tells us in today's verse. Let's start using the phrase, if the Lord's will, or a similar phrase that reminds us that we are daily following the plans of God. Now, why is this important? We have no problem making our own plans, do we? I'm personally going through one of the busiest seasons of my year, and chances are you are as well. By adopting a phrase as James describes, we are keeping the Lord our priority, and it reminds us to trust Him with every detail of our life, including our very own schedule. Maybe God will allow us to fulfill everything on our calendar, or maybe He has other plans. Now, as you live out your place in life in ministry, this day, make your plans a matter of prayer. Take some time to step back, look at your plans, and ask God if this is His plan for you. He gives us intellect and the ability to make plans. He also gives us the command to hold those plans with an open hand and to seek Him as we plan our lives. Your Place is a weekday devotional from Place Ministries. Our focus is helping followers of Christ know how and why God created them and be encouraged to do what God created them to do in life and ministry. For a list of free resources, go to placeministries.org and join us every weekday right here at Your Place.